Boys, welcome back. You've been good. I'm sure you've been good. All right, so this video is going to be like a two-day video. I don't know what my dog's doing. Smudge, what are you playing at? I pulled back the old cream, creamy sort of hoodie colour. I do miss this colour. If you want to see, I want to get another set of hoodies and t-shirts brought out. I'm going to go with an old design that I had from like a year ago. But, should I bring hoodies out in this colour? I'm thinking grey, because gr light grey looks good. Do I do this colour as well? Let me know. But yeah, without, without, without chatting about that shit. Alright, we're back on the Fiesta. Because I've missed her. Like, she still ain't even got headlights in it. I'm really sad. I've had this car two, almost three weeks. Still not got headlights in it. Twat. Oh, also, if anyone knows what, like, the best for money uh, headlight restoration kit is, could you let me know and just message me? Because I need to get some for the headlights I've got for this ST. But they look jank. So... I want them cleaned up so I can actually have vision out of them, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's get on with this video. Mate, Mark 6 problems, boy. Alright, so yeah, there are headlights in there. I didn't put the seat like this, my mate did. So the last thing you saw was, obviously, we gutted the rear out, so the, the rear's looking good. I found some, like, race car door cars that look really awesome for these, but I haven't really got the money yet, so this is the situation as it is, and I need to clean all that up. But So I've told you that... I need to get, um, oh, I only thought, bye, get, let's start again, shall we? This video is going to be filmed on two days, Uno and Dubs. Today is Uno. So basically, this car, we can't work out if it's got a starter motor problem or a battery problem. Now, obviously, we're hoping it's, the, it's a battery, not a starter motor, because it's a lot quicker, easier, and probably cheaper to fix. Might not be cheaper, I don't know, I don't really know how much a starter motor costs one of these, but, we're hoping that, that is what it is. And to be honest, I keep forgetting I bought this car, which is not good at all. I just forget. And I want to try the Orcs. But yeah, so I'm going to try to start if you guys. Let's put the... We've got to get my radio working, gangster. All right, so this is what happens when I try to start it. Just put the window down. Beast. All right. Oh my God, I don't even move the seat forward. All right, so... Turn in the key, yeah? Oh, I think it's fully dead now. <laughs> Fuck. I thought it would still have charging and not be dead. I don't know if I have any jump leads either. But the f thing is, even if I do jump start it... I think it's just a battery. Um... Try again, but it's probably gonna give me some response. Yeah, that battery is definitely dead. Oh, it's weird that my ignition still comes on though. I'm hoping it's not the start though. But yeah, so usually the battery will obviously come on, and then the start motor will tick. But I'm pretty sure it's because the starter motor's not getting enough power from the battery. So, yeah. I don't, I'm pretty sure I gave away my jump leads with my E36. But even if I do get my jump lead, I'm, 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 I'm just going to take a, I don't want to buy any battery next, that's just long. Okay, so the plan's going to be, I'm going to take the battery off, take it into work tomorrow, charge it, Put it back on tomorrow, and we should start up all sweet and dandy. And in that way, I can put my headlights in, but I need to work out how they fit in on these, because I don't know if they're just clips or screws, or... Some said just take front bumper off, but someone else said there's a way to bend it. I mean, I don't care if they're not in properly, like, as long as they're in and plugged in and get some sort of power, I'm happy with it. But I'm a bit upset that... My battery's fully dead. I can't even turn on so you can listen to a dirt nasty decap. I'm gutted, to be honest with you boys. I'm gutted. Got the big boy toolbox out from when I worked at Screwfix. But, um... This was the smallest ratchet. Like, the 10 mil is stupid. It goes from 4, even with halves, to 9, then skips to 11. And you have to use a 10 on the big fucking ratchet. So I look like a bit of a twat here. But... I'm just going to take the battery off, just because I'm not going to show you how to take battery off, obviously. And then, I don't want to get one of the dirt nasty aftermarket ones here, so I look like a gangster. Yeah, take the battery off, take it to work, put it on charge. I put the window down, 
and then I could barely get the window back up. But I have heard there's a common problem with like the window switches or something to do with the runners and stuff on the windows and these goes wrong a lot. Whether it was that or not, I don't really know. But I've also had a really good idea, I think. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking, because I've got buckets on the way, when they get here, obviously the whole interior is pretty much going to be stripped out. So, because I want to get this car wrapped or something, I want a colour change. I don't know whether, when it's all out, to literally black it all out inside, like just satin black it or gloss black it, just rattle count everything. Let me know what you think. I don't know if it's a stupid idea or not, but I think it'll look a lot nicer, because if it gets wrapped and it's all red inside, and the colour of the outside isn't red, it'll look shit. But if it's all black inside, I'll be like, oh, that's justifiable. It's just, it's just, it's just black, bro. It's black's a clean looking colour. And it's easy to like, say, it's, it's, it spreads well. And I think it's just a good idea. Anyway, I'm going to get this battery off because it's annoying me now. One dead ass battery removed. I've never even known that sort of battery. I don't know if that's even just a shit battery or something, but the plan is we charge it and that way hopefully don't have to buy a new one. If I have to buy a new one, I'll buy a new one in it. But if I can get away without doing it and save money to put it into something else, then that'll be sick. But oh, that was tiring. Your boy needs to put an aerial on this because I can't end that in. Someone's texting me. Alright, oh. um, see you in 24 hours, I guess. Alright, boys, two days later because yesterday it was just raining all night and it, the clouds are like black and then blue, and I'm just sort of gonna chance and hope for the best. Why it's a bit light, we're gonna go for it now because why the hell not? Um, so yeah, I, I think I charged the battery at work, I sort of hit it out here last night, so just gonna, yeah, boy. That's my battery. Uh, gonna pop it. I'm on the wrong side. I am a scrub. Oh, the other side's gonna be locked. Like, screw it. Here I come. Oosh. So yeah, like I was saying, one day later. Um, I am now on like my part-time schedule. So I have Thursdays and Fridays off. So today's a Thursday. It's awesome because uh, there's no one in my area and I've just got free time to work on the cars. Now, let's little tap bit. First things first with the Fiesta. We need to sort out headlight placement. Oh, I've got left my ratchet in there. I'm going to put the battery in. Pray to God it works. If not, I'll just buy a new one. Or I think I know how to do a little charger kit, so I'm gonna try to get myself one of them. So I don't really trust this battery. But uh yeah, I'm gonna put the battery in quick. Hope that that works. If not, probably have to go down Halfords and buy a new battery. And then I need to I think I'm just gonna go down Ford and buy the um I've got no headlight screws. I've got headlights I've got obviously where they go, but I've got no bolts or screws for them to go into the headlight with. So I think I'm going to go down to Ford and just ask what the part number is and order them. Or hope, I'm guessing they'd have screws in just so I can get some and fit them in. If, I, w I can just cable tie them in, but I'd rather actually just screw them in because it's just going to save me getting a lot of shit on the internet as well. So we're going to put this battery in quick and then hopefully it all is well. Battery in. Um, now let's try and so see if it actually did anything. I'm hoping it has, because I don't want to buy a battery. I have to sort out a new charger. If this works, then I'm happy bunny for the day. Hopefully, this goes better than the last time I tried to do this. Yeah! We have power! 
Yes, it worked. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you can hear her. Oh, she hasn't been started in like weeks. Oh, that wasn't good. Alright, I'll let a cold start. It doesn't like that. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need the battery, I need the code again for this. Um, actually, if I just go watch that video back, it's gonna tell me the code. That's that. That's the benefit of doing YouTube. You always literally got that extra backup of information just sitting there ready. But um, these stays on cold, like cold idle for ages. For rev it, the revs drop. I'm not a gun up now. I'm going down. No. Oh, I think it's done. <laughs> oh, I want to drive this. I need to insure it, but I just spent money on a track day for like 200 quid. I probably wasn't the best idea. Alright, now we've got success with that. We're gonna... I might go buy the bolts of headlights now, or don't know how to check them first, make sure they work. Because if I'm out, I might as well buy bulbs if the bulbs don't work. I've got this side in, so there seems to be a screw bit down there, you could, I could just pull that back and screw in there, screw there, and obviously a screw here, but obviously that does not look right, but then on the bottom, it's sitting nice, and if I go to pull it over here, I can't, but then I don't know if this has ever been touched with before or bent, so, like, it's quite a hard one, but that isn't obviously not lining up very well with there, so I'm trying to wiggle it over, but the best I can get is to like there. See, only a sight budge. Because as soon as it goes here, it's getting caught on these little tabs. So that's probably that fits best there. But that's halfway in the air. I mean, I'm not too bothered with how it fits. So it looks right from distance. I just can't work out if I'm doing something right or wrong. I'll plug that in. So I'm going to do the same to the other side quick and then we'll test them, see if they work see if they need to be bulb bulbs as well because while I'm out I might as well pick some out if I need to if not, I don't have to see UK sell bulbs for these if they do, I'll just get some of theirs get some zesty lighting in the beast beast also I really want to get this wrapped but I've spent so much money lately on things I don't really need that I don't know if I should or not my pocket says I should my brain says I shouldn't. <laughs> Alright, so I've got both the headlights in now. Um, I just realised I've like crammed myself in here. But there's so much space, I'm just going to move the RS over there somewhere. And then maybe give her a little rip up and down. Like, I can't really go far. But I, I want to drive it. Like, I've not driven it yet, really. And I just want to give it a little go. It ain't going to do that much harm. No one's going to see me. You see, I'm in Mexico anyway, like across the border. So, you know, like, there's, there's no ruling over it saying I can't do it. Uh, I want to check the headlight bulbs work. They're all plugged in. Um, they definitely need screws, so I need to buy some of them. But we're going to get in the RS, move that, and get the ST out, because this thing hasn't moved in like three weeks. <laughs> Let's see if she starts again. Oh, ho, first time, baby. I mean... I don't think that the f headlights are going to fall out, but they're very loose because I like, like, wobbled them in my hand and yeah, they're sort of just sitting in there. So I'm just going to hope for the best, really, and just give her a little drive. It's pretty cool. I didn't realize it has like a trip computer, so it says how long till like distance empty on my fuel and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Uh, reverse. Watch me stall it. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, don't stole it, Tommy. I feel fear. This hasn't moved since I bought it. There's the RS. Alright. Let's 
second gear. Oh my god. Alright, we need to slow down now. Ugh. This feels quite nice to drive. That was literally the fastest I've driven this car, but yeah, I backed her up now instead of driving her head on in because she's got headlights. Didn't want it to sit there with no headlights. It like been dumped, so she's sitting well. Looking like a sexy beast as always, you know. You already know. And then 15 team dynamics. Needed some Mondeo brakes. Alright. My plan is now I'm gonna go get some food. Go get some headlight but screws for these. Oh I need to check the bulbs quick actually. Let's check the bulbs. Side lights. Um Oh LED side lights baby. Yes. Rate that. Alright. Headlights. Ooh, ooh, that zestiness. Yes, she needs, she needs some good LEDs in there. But that being said, ooh, it's not that farted. It, it's all good, man. Like the car drove all right. It feels, it feels quite nice to drive. I can't lie to you. Even though I just drove it up and down, like fair enough. I keep feeling like I'm gonna stall it on the clutch, but. It seems alright. And I know I don't have a starter mic problem now, it's just a battery, so that's all good as well. So it's been successful so far. Uh let's take the RS down to Ford and get some get some headlight screws. Break some necks in the RS. That's what we like to do, boys. I swear I never get in this car and it has fuel in it. It's always empty. I don't understand. I fill you up like once or twice a week, man. So, the first stop of the day will be the petrol station. And then food. Or food. Or Ford, then food, then food, then Ford. Either one of them, I'm gonna do away with it. I mean, Ford should really give me free parts, because I fucking advertise them enough. But I don't think they're gonna give me free parts. I can't see it happening. All right, down at Harlow Ford. I've got to wait like five, four to five days, something like that, for, my, for the headlight screws coming, only like five quid, so I'll just get them. Uh, I asked about my fox round, that's pretty much 50 quid including that, which is annoying, but I mean, I think warranty should cover that because it flew out, I didn't do nothing, and then I could get the screw stay from Stevenage, but it's going to cost me like 20 quid to try Stevenage and back, and I'm not in a rush to get them, do you know what I mean, like the car's not going nowhere, it's not insured, so there's no point in me doing that, um, I'm going to head back now. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do to the cars, I need to think, but um, we'll get some fuel, I've had some food, uh, we'll figure out the next step of the day is boys. Alright boys, so I'm going to end the video here because simply I don't know what else to film, well there's things to film but I don't want to put it all in one video. Uh, so the ST doesn't have a start mic problem, it was just a battery, thank fuck for that. Um, headlights, they work, they're in, I've got to wait a few days for the screws. And then, I have a big mods to put on it. Well, actually, I have two fairly big mods. But, I need to insure it, really, so I can get it out to do it. Well, I can do one of them, but I need to get... I basically, I need a boss kit. You can tell what that is, isn't it? But, um, there is a massive video coming for the RS in... It might not be the next one, but you'll know when it is one, because I was on the box right now. Um... Before I end the video in a second, I'm going to show you what the box sort of is, like give it a little hint and tease, but I cannot wait to get this on the, the car. It is, I never ever thought I'd be working with a company like this in my life, and it's going to be ridiculous. But anyway, thank you for watching, smash the like here, comment down below what you think. Um, what do you want to see next to the ST? Um, if you own one and have any parts for sale, let me know what sort of cheap mods, I don't want cheap shit mods, but cheap uh, like track focus sort of mods or something that's going to make it look cool like I've been looking at diffusers and just splitters and stuff that could work <gasps> oh I know what tomorrow's video we could do <laughs> hey, I've got a good one anyway I'm going to wrap it up here thank you all so much for watching like comment hit the subscribe button please sign up for Patreon because a lot of you guys after I made my last video really did come and help me support my Patreon so if you could help please do if you don't want to then don't I'm not making you nothing and just before we finish this, I'm just going to give you one little hint of what's to come. Alright, here we go. Are you ready?
Whoa! No one is ready for this. Nobody is ready for this. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, sound, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Peace out, boys. You're the best.